Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and today I am going to start a new playlist on end-to-end -end research framework from scratch. So I want to put all my experiences of working on research tool in different projects, in different organizations to create this playlist and try to teach you all to develop an industry level framework from scratch. So, but before I go and write the first line of code or I explain any other concept of research framework, I want to cover some basic stuffs. The first question we should ask why is, first thing what is framework and what should you know before we get started, right? It's not always like you go and jump in between. If you want to create a framework, okay, so we need to have, we need to take the first step, okay, and before taking that first step, we need to know how, why we require that, okay. So let's understand this topics now. So if I ask you to define the framework, so this is the best ever definition of framework I have ever found. And uh, this was given by Karthik, mm -hmm. if you know, uh, execute automation. Um, he is the YouTuber and as well as Udemy teacher as well. So it says that useful foundation, useful foundational elements, which eventually become shareable, reusable and extendable over the period of time. This is the actual definition of framework and framework should be generic generic not specific so uh, if i are uh, even i have seen this uh, kind of questions like uh, can you explain me the four day structure of your framework in interviews seriously this 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 type of questions are asked F four day structure and also like uh, what was the first step you start the framework so people will start answering okay i will go through the, through the application first and then i will think whether I indicate the data driven or indicate the keyword driven framework this kind of what they use but that that is not always the correct answer have you worked on it uh, in a team where you you are asked to create the solutions okay means I have worked on some uh, in some teams where we used to create the solutions we used to create some frameworks or we used to create some tools which will help other team to do some automation testing okay just for an example uh, in my previous organizations um, i was in a team where we were asked to create a web based uh, web automation framework okay web automation framework they uh, they were not giving any uh, like what type of application it is or uh, uh, means what type of locator we will have or other different kind of things we are we are asked to create a something which will help to uh, automate the web uh, website or web applications for different projects it might be uh, for project one for project two for project three or project four so here we are asked to create a generic framework okay for the web automation so here framework what i am developing or our team is developing that is not only for one application like application one only can use this framework for application two if that team want to use the framework i will create a phrase one that is not a framework that's why you need to understand shareable you create a framework you create a basic thing a basic platform which you can give to the related teams okay which who can use that framework for the web automation Okay. Obviously, suppose I cannot give my wave automation project to uh, to the team with, uh, which they are automating the REST API because obviously Selenium cannot do the REST uh, automation, right? So we need to understand how it is going to help others, other teams. So first thing you need to understand requirements. What you need to develop and for what you need to develop. Okay. That doesn't mean that you need to know the application first you can start without knowing the application as well if i ask you to develop a framework uh, for the web automation so what are the basic things you need to uh, know okay so whatever tool or whatever language pro programming language you select but there is something always common like how you are going to launch the browser how you are going to uh, 
uh, represent the reporting how you are going to provide the uh, running mechanism or uh, how you are going to log the things how you are going to take the screenshot or what how you are going to run those kind of very generic right it's not like for browser one, for the application one browser will be open differently and for application two browser will browser code will be different it is same right it is uh, same code to launch the browser for any application you have the application you understand that one you can get the idea from that okay what kind of framework will be good for your application but while developing framework you need to make sure that if you if the another project or another team wants to use a web automation framework or api automation framework your framework can be used there as well you cannot develop your framework only specific to your application and many uh, i have heard in many interviews like they will uh, uh, they are say that how they will write the locators locators are not writing the locators are not part of your framework your framework should have the capabilities to use those locators to find the element and perform the actions so you need to understand what you are going to solve and how you need to create it so that you can share with others as well okay and whenever you start the developing the framework you may or may not know the application okay that's why i am saying the framework should be generic not specific identify capabilities this is the most important point before you start creating the framework you need to identify what will be capabilities of your framework what your framework will offer suppose i want to create a framework so that any person or any uh, any member of my team or another team if they have minimum knowledge of the tool then also they can use this framework if they are not aware okay uh, how the uh, f- browser will be launched or how uh, how to handle the exe files and all so they don't need to worry about that one i have some setup or i have some capability in framework so that just you mention the uh, browser name or something automatically browser will be launched your application will be loaded and you need to just write your assertion part your checks and what should be the basic features of your framework it, it should have better reporting it should have better exception handling it should have uh, some better logging mechanism as well and also it should l- look clean easy to understand just for an example suppose i am taking the example of cnm because many people are aware of cnm that's why i am taking more example on that but in upcoming videos i will show you that how these things will be similar for assertion as well so if you try to identify capabilities of a web automation framework so what are things i should provide as part of my framework my framework should able to launch any browser it should able to wait for the element or it should be uh, able to check the clickability or it should uh, it should automatically verify whatever keys you are sending whether that is tab there or not or before performing any action it is checking the it is getting the basic check or not means keywords kind of thing how how many keywords we are going to give so that people can use it directly if you want to switch to the window i will just ask okay you co- all this method your window will be switched okay you want to get the title okay use my this capability in report also it will be printed like you verified the title or you verified the um, urls anything like that another thing how you are going to read the data you cannot force that okay you need to use only excel sheet you cannot pass the data from json you cannot pass the data from any different source your framework should have capabilities to read the data from multiple sources and it doesn't matter that you need to add all the capabilities at once only you started with excel but later you should have some way to so that anyone wants to pass the data from json so they can pass same thing goes for xml or anyone wants to read the data from database that capability should also be there you should have a better reporting where you can see how many tests are passing failing you sh- your framework should handle the parallel execution everything right these are the must to have features or capabilities of any framework and these framework these features can be developed without knowing the application as well because running the test in parallel is common scenario but you should have some flag if you want to run or you you don't want to run okay so identify how much features you are going to add or how much features your framework is going to provide and again these features are not specific to 
application it is generic it should be generic now this is the again one of the important topic which language programming language you want to use which tool you want to use okay and i always prefer to use on which you have confidence suppose you are a java guy and you try and uh, somewhere some from somewhere you learn that okay this tool is very good and that is on some different uh, tool like right? uh, programming language like java script or node js you don't know abcd of that one and the people make the mistake there they directly see the tools they don't see the programming language if you're not good in java script or even you are not good in java you cannot write the good framework leave out the framework you cannot even write the proper test anyone can develop the framework can give to you but without proper knowledge of program language you cannot write the test properly automation is not about clicking or verifying the status code just for an example suppose there's one ui where you have the drop down options okay you can get the options of from that drop down using your sign up keywords and everything okay other methods but if i ask you verify whether there is no duplicate elements or verify they are sorted in ascending or descending order or verify they are, uh, those those options are properly as per, uh, as per database means you have only four options but in drop down it's coming 10 options so all these checks required you to know the programming language it's it's possible that in framework only can serve uh, um, they may create the some utilities which you can use for this but still you need to understand you need to know the programming language because it's not always one's responsibility to de uh, to develop and enhance the framework you can always enhance the framework you can never say that okay my framework is complete tomorrow you go and find okay no uh, i need to generate some random date and i find that this utility is not in my framework this generating the random date is not <laughs> the same thing but it's a normal utility anyone can want to generate the random number someone wants to generate the random email id and if you know that you are going to use this uh, uh, in your application so the same thing might be using some another applications as well so you can ask okay let me add this method as a utility in the core framework so don't underestimate that without the programming language you can write the better code always work on your programming language automatically everything will be fine any tool comes because what to what new tools will come they will be based on some programming language it will be on java javascript or python or some other language but if you know the programming language you can use any tool so that's all in this video i hope i was i i tried to explain the framework well and the points what ever i want to discuss before you before we get started about the recursive framework in the next video i will start about uh, recursive framework step by step so if you like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone